Yo, 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 what it do? What it be, y'all? It's your boy, Agent A-N-T, coming to you with a MK11 commentary. Repping the spell block agency and all that. So, I've done a few of these videos, you know, personal life stories and all that. But this really might be the most personal one. So, let's just get into it. I, I kind of told y'all before that in high school, I wasn't... I wasn't even close to really being popular with the ladies. Uh, I was the big goofy class clown in the in the friend zone, pretty much, and and all that. But I was I was good friends with this one girl who was kind. Of, she kind of sort of introduced me to my ex, and I mean I had known her. You know I had known my ex prior. You know through the business class and running the school store, but. This other girl, she she's actually the same girl that was there when I kind of, but not really, wrecked my mom's car. She was the main homegirl or whatever, but we kicked it together every day, and, and when I first started smoking, she was getting high with me and Agent Boog and Agent Bond before there even was an agency, before any of that, before, like, before the agency was just a twinkle in my eye, <laughs> and... We we was so close that I actually hooked her up with my my best friend Lenny, aka Agent Ghost, and she ended up technically taking my homie's virginity. But you know this ain't his story. This is my story. So maybe he'll do a video in this in the future. Maybe not. But anyways, so her and my boy Lenny start hooking up. They get into a pretty serious relationship and all that. And low key, no cap, no gown. I'm I'm kind of jealous. You know, like. You know, when all your friends start getting in relationships and losing their virginity and having sex in high school, and you're the only one not really getting bitches. And I don't know about y'all. I, wow. I was starting to feel the pressure a little bit, you know. And, um, you know, it's not like I was, like, super jealous or none of that. But I was just like, you know, I, of course, I started spending less time with both of them. And they was do, off doing their own shit. Which, you know, go off. Do your own thing. Do all that. But, I mean... It do hurt, you know, because you're like, damn, like, I ain't got nobody now, fuck. <laughs> I wish I had some companionship like that, and even then, like, I was kind of sort of started to talk to my, uh, my ex at the time or whatever, so, uh, you know, it kind of worked out at the same time. We was both trying to, you know, do our own thing type shit, and, um, you know, go out there, like I said, find some, uh, companionship with the opposite sex, so, um, can't really hate on my boy for that but uh you know it it, it 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 wasn't him that changed it was really her like after she got in a relationship you know she was like you know real distant she's she accused my little sister of like having a crush on like my best friend and shit and it was just like bro like i was like bro you know like and my sister was even like my sister was straight tell me you know if if she had a crush on one of my homies, but she literally never, never had a crush on bro, for real, for real, so I'm just like, you know, drama behind that, and then, you know, uh, she had disrespected it. her and my ex at the time had were like, they weren't cool, or they had fallen out, in a sense, and they're, they're still really not cool to this day, but, so she was like, she kind of saw me, you know, I fuck with a op, so I'm a op, which I, I kind of get that, but at the same time, like, we still cool, bro, like, I ain't did shit to you, so you gonna come in my house and disrespect my girl, kind of, like, nah, fam, like, so it was just a, a lot of drama between all that, a lot of underlying shit, but, uh, it's, it's the passing shit, you know, uh, they not either, you know, they not together no more, she engaged and shit, my homie got, you know, just had a, another kid, he got two now, so, you know, it's, it's all past shit, you know, I feel, you know, it's cool to talk about, <laughs> I guess, I don't know, I'm, I'm doing it anyways, fuck it, so, you know, to, to get my homie off my back from, you know, roasting me about getting no pussy and all that, like, you know, when you getting bitches, bro, like this and that, you know, so, I ain't even gonna cap, no gown, uh, I lied about having sex with this one girl who, who lived by me and I was kind of friends with. And even when I was telling my homie, he was skeptical. Like, you know, it, it was like a day after I told him. And he was like, yeah, I text her and ask her, like, how it was. Like, was it good and this and that. And I'm like, 
nah, like, you know, making up excuses, this and that bullshit, and then he's like, oh, why not, like, this and that, like, just do it, this and that, and I'm like, nah, like, I don't remember exactly what I said, but I finally, like, got him off my back, he's like, alright, bro, you know, kind of just side-eyeing me, like, probably doubting me, like, my, my homie probably never, you know, told me he doubted me, but, you know, I kind of feel it and see it in his eyes type shit, but fast forward to just after high school, still a virgin, uh, but I started, I started losing weight, started smoking, I got me a job, so, girls starting to kind of notice me, and my homie Lenny, you know, me and him, I started hanging out with this one girl he went to high school with, and her best friend, and long story short, he ends up with her friend, I end up with the girl he went to school with, and she's way more experienced than I was, like, I was, she was fucking grown men, and I was a virgin, you know, like, she was fucking grown men since before she turned 21 type shit. And I I hadn't ha- had pussy since pussy had me. So yeah, I was I was kind of intimidated. No cap, no gown type shit, you know. But we ended up doing some things. But technically, I was still a virgin, you know. I ain't gonna get into too much detail with that. But yeah, we did some things. But technically, still a virgin. Virgin. Uh, but shout out to my dog Lenny, cause he was always. Open, straight open, you know, the hose, but <laughs> he introduced me to another girl that he went to school with, and she actually gave me my first hand job the first time I, we met, you know, which was actually, it was actually more awkward than I anticipated, but, you know, oh well, I got my nut, <laughs> that's all that matters, right? <laughs> nah, nah, ways out, but, but it, it, it was awkward, I'm not even gonna lie about that, uh, just after you know the whole thing like she's like yeah you got like a towel like she, yeah shit like that but uh yeah and it was in her car so she like got like a t-shirt from her back and i'm just like damn like so you do this huh so <laughs> and uh both of them actually ended up well one of them actually ended up giving head to my my, my dog lenny and one of them actually ended up fucking him so it's like we well, you know they was they love in the crew <laughs> type shit, but uh, uh, I was a virgin like uh, all the way up till I got tender. Like I had, I had gotten some head that I knew from this girl since middle school, and no cap, that was crazy because she was like, she was a teacher, and she came through to the crib on the on her break. She got out of her break, came through to the crib, sucked me up. I didn't, you know, that's how I kind of knew I was like, I was, I'm, I was, uh, I was kind of cold because she sucked me up for like a good, like, bro, it had to be like a good 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and I was not coming. I was not nothing, and I was just like, she's just like, sorry, like, I'm just like, no, I'm, I'm sorry. That, it would have been better if I did, <laughs> type shit, you know, fuck. But it's not like, you know, I, I couldn't get hard. I just, I really just couldn't nut. She was just, just, just slurping away for nothing, you know? It's like a, an everlasting slurp. I, I, anyway, but, <laughs> uh, like I said, I was a virgin all the way up until I finally decided to download and join Tinder. And on Tinder, I actually experienced... I took a girl on a first, like, my first real date. I paid for it. Took her out to go. I think we went to the movies or some shit. No, I think we actually went bowling. And the little bowling thing had, like, an arcade. So we went, like, played, like, a game or two of bowling. I want both of them, of course, because, like, I'm not. that All that gentleman, y'all should say chivalry's dead. No, that's because y'all killed it. And I'm not letting motherf- uh, motherfucker win. I'm sorry. I'm competitive, too. Like. Fuck that gentleman shit, bro. If you not better than me, you not better than me. Well, I mean, I know some I know some females that are cold at bowling. But nah, I I whooped this bitch out like nothing. And I apologize for calling uh women and females bitches and hoes, but I mean that's sorry not sorry type shit. But anyway, so yeah. Uh took her out on a on a proper date, bowling type shit. And that was, I, she didn't even let me hit. I think we went to a museum after that. Or some shit like that. Somewhere along the way. She let me hit my, for my, like, literally my virginity. She took my virginity. And, uh, I was 
kind of impressed with myself. I lasted a uh, lasted a good, you know, twenty minutes. I'm, um, you know, I'm not going that maybe thirty at the most. You know, it was kind of kind of cool. It wasn't like no hour long, two hour long marathon. I was I was done. <laughs> but she came a couple times. You know, I came. We was done. Smoked a blunt. Um, think I think we actually went to the museum afterwards, and then I never really saw her again. And you know that that was that. But uh, after the, after the first time, I started getting a lot more comfortable. You know, with the opposite sex, and you know what I was attracted to, and what I liked sexually, and all that. And it kind of turns out that uh, this might be too much information, but fuck it. Uh, Thanks to years of sexual suppression from religion, I, I'm I'm a sexual deviant, and I'm I'm and I'm proud. No, but I'm I'm still kind of saving myself from the right one, if that makes sense. Like I'm not trying to have custody battles or none of that. I'm focused on building my brand, and uh, if some pussy come along the way and it's cool and it gets thrown at me, I might have to Odell that shit. But that's as far as building a family and having kids and all that, that's honestly going to take, like, a really special woman coming along, like, building a bond and shit like that, which I don't see, you know, no one really ever sees it, some, you know, love is blind type shit sometimes, you know, I don't know, I do believe love is blind and love at first sight type shit, you know, sometimes you just look at somebody like, oh, what, bro, you attractive as hell, and that's the one thing, is people be like, it's not all about looks, you right, it's not all about looks, but it is really important. If I can't see myself waking up to you every single day, like your voice is annoying, you got an ugly laugh, like you got a crooked eye, a lazy eye, snaggle too. I'm not. I'm sorry. Like I got fucked up teeth. I got. I gotta shave my unibrow. No cap. I got. You know. I got. It's not bad. But you know, it's not some Anthony Davis shit. But you know, I. I got a little fuzz right there. You know, I gotta. You know, uh, keep maintained and shit. But, you know, sure, beauty is pain. You know, I'm, my daddy cursed me with a fucked up hairline. I still get my hair cut. I ain't going bald yet. I'm hanging on for dear life. I might have to invest in some Rogaine here too in a minute. But still, even then, that's the shit I do. Because, you know, uh, you do certain things because that's the respect you have for what you want type shit. You know, you're not going to settle for... Uh, something less than what you want and I think that's what a lot of people do they like oh this came along like that's cool I don't think I'm gonna get anything better no don't do that you better than that Beyonce voice all that shit I'm not trying to settle and get stuck and trapped please, please the fuck this look like this ain't Yu-Gi-Oh get a spell trap card fucking ah, I'm in permanent defense mode fuck you talking about yeah, I mean, that's just me. I'm not trying. I coming from a broken family, you know. That's not, you know. You always want to be better, a better parent than what you had. You know, that's what you. It's hopefully the goal. I mean, a lot of people I met, you know, they had good parents and they still want to be better parents than what they had. And I had, I know people with hella shitty parents and they still trying to, you know. Despite you know any situations they got, they still trying to make it work, and I could I could respect that if you, as long as you trying, bro. But you know me, I don't I don't got none. I don't plan on having none for a minute. <laughs> but you know, that's pretty much how I lost my virginity. I know I kind of drug it out, but um, kind of lame. <laughs> but you know, true story type shit, you know, I, motherfuckers cap all the time about the bitches they fucking, now I'm, as I'm older, I can at least be honest about it, and honestly, I haven't, I don't think I even told my homie or none of this, that, like, I, I made that shit up or nothing, cause it's like, it's the past, it don't even really matter, it's not I'm gonna be like, oh, guess what, bro, you know, that time I told you I lost my virginity, I lied, bro, no, like, what the fuck is that? I might as well <laughs> let put put it on YouTube. <laughs> I got a story to tell. Put it on YouTube, motherfucker. What you mean? Like I'm not 
You know, I mean, fuck it. Might as well tell the truth now. The truth, what what happens in the dark will come to light eventually. So, <laughs> and you know, I probably could have just kept this in in the vault. Probably could have never talked about it, but I need them views. I love you know anybody who views this. Shout out the fans, the subs, all that. This is for y'all. Y'all been supporting me almost two years. Two years now, y'all. I appreciate all that. So yeah. Started this channel in 2018. Crazy. Started my business 2019 type shit. Been rolling ever since, y'all. Was been working on. I was the elevated gamer, and I, then I just changed it up. Started changing it up, but now we got it. I got the formula, baby. It's been your boy. Agent A N T from the Spell Block Agency. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, <laughs> I'll let y'all enjoy the rest of the video. I don't think I'm gonna talk the rest of it, but uh, if you did enjoy it, leave a like. If you didn't, hey, you know, leave a dislike. I touched on some touchy subjects. I'm calling women bitches and hoes and shit. You know, that's not that's not cool. But fuck it. It's, it's what I do. It's not on purpose. It's kind of how I was raised, and it's just kind of. It's a nasty, filthy habit, like smoking and gambling, and I do that shit too, but... <laughs> sorry. Not sorry, though. Kind of. I'll try and work on it, but probably not, but... <laughs> uh, yeah, see, I'm trying to work on being more truthful and uh, trying to show more appreciation, so I'm trying to kind of kill two birds with one stone, and as you can see, I'm trying to ramble to take up more time on the video, but anyways, I'm for real out this time. <laughs> if you like this I got more hot content dropping soon so stay tuned it's been your boy Agent ANT from the Spell Block Agency be safe out there y'all I appreciate all the support on every video every comment every like all that you know every retweet favorite I know it's some some of the bots too you know appreciate the bots out here retweeting favorite and following my shit on Twitter and all that I'm going to be on Instagram. I'll be on Snapchat too. Snapchat. My snap's the same as my Twitter. So y'all ever want to follow me on Snap. Be on that shit too. A-N-T underscore 303. Uh, Spellblock Agency is also on Twitter. IG. We got a YouTube that I'm working on. Posting more content for in the future. So stay tuned for all that. Uh, yeah. Uh, don't get smoked out there y'all. Be safe. Um, I'm out. Peace. I almost forgot one more thing before I get out of here. I'm at 22 subscribers right now as we speak. And I'm at 9 followers on Twitch. So if I could get 11 followers on Twitch, get, you know, a total of 20, and I could get 8 subs on YouTube, I I don't set goals like like all the time. Matter of fact, I think this is the first time I've ever set a goal. So if I could get, you know, like let's say 30 subs and nine new followers on, on Twitch and eight subs on on YouTube, that's my goal. I don't know what I'll do. I don't know what I'll drop, but I'll I'll do I'll do something special. I don't know. I'll I'll uh. I'll answer some questions on on a stream or something. I don't know, but yeah, that's my goal. I'm hopefully trying to reach it. I'm gonna I'm gonna do more uh, advertising and shit like that. But yeah, last thing before I'm out for real for real this time out, y'all. I'm 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 out. Be safe. Don't get smoked. Peace.
your life. Final round. Fight! Fatality. Kung Lao wins. <laughs>